Father God. Thank you for life. I thank you for another day. I thank you for my wonderful, beautiful wife, Brenda. I thank you for protection and guidance. Thank you. Dear Lord, thank you for life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my husband, Thomas. Thank you for guiding us to make great decisions. We love and honor you. Thomas and Brenda. Amen. Amen. What are you nervous about? We've been friends for years. You know what? You talk about friends, but I'm getting ready to give my finances to you, my management, my life insurance policy to you. Don't worry. It's perfect. I got you. You're good. Look, I'm going to make sure you got the best service. I'm going to look out for you. That's what we do, right? Well, you know what? I got to talk it over with Brenda. I got to talk it. We'll talk it over with Barbara study tonight. And uh, right now, I gotta go pick up her from the nail salon. And by the way, are you and Debbie coming to Bible study tonight? Yes, we are. Okay. I'll see you there. All right. Well, did he give you a hard time? Of course. Well, that's Thomas is expected. He did mention that uh, that commission percentage was a bit much, so. Okay, well, did you tell him that was industry standard? Yes. Did you also inform him that it'll be my law firm that will handle the management of his will from now on? That information is listed in his policy. 
Uh, yeah, it's up to him to read that. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, perfect. Hello, how can I help you? Hello, how can I help you? Damn that tongue. What happened? Maybe all the time. Really? Yeah. How? About these documents. I mean, I calm them down, but I'm feeling like I'm putting in extra work on this one. No, your idea. No, no. And don't remind me, I promise, when I go to that Bible study. And dinner at his house. Dinner? I'll probably take dinner with me. I'm feeling going over that plan. No, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. I'll walk up before I leave. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Why did you drive home so fast today? You know what? I really don't like your tone today, Brenda. Since when did my tone ever become a problem to you? That was a good Bible study. Yes, it was. <laughs> I needed that. Child, I hope Brenda <laughs> cooked something different this time. <laughs> Woo, I hope so.
Okay, George. So, can Brenda cook? <laughs> yes. Don't worry, you're gonna like it. I promise. Okay, because <laughs> I'm only here because of Thomas's contract. Come on. George and Debbie, hey, y'all come on in and get coffee. Dinner was great. Thanks. I'm sure everyone enjoy your cooking. That's one of the reasons why I marry you. Really? One of the reasons? <laughs> one of the reasons, babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah. I'm getting a little tired. Mm. Maybe we should head to bed. Oh, it sounds great. Hey. So, it sounds... I hope Bible study and dinner was great. Let's just say you sound really happy to be home. Now, George, are you sure you want to go through with all this? Yeah. I mean, you and Thomas were friends. So let's get this money. Told you. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll be leaving here soon. Hey, hey, make sure you lock up, too. I will. Talk to you later. Bye. I really don't think we should be watching a scary movie right now. Friend, relax. Why are you so uptight? 
It would be nice if you really let me relax. What? I'm smiling. Man, I'm signing everything over to him. This is a good idea. I mean, the policy is is, is covering everybody, cover you, cover me, and you want to get a check if something happened to me. I think they did a pretty good job. You're going to be covered. I'm going to be covered. And most of all, you're going to get a certified check once I'm gone or whatever case it be. Why are you just sitting there and not, you're not saying nothing? I'm not interested. And this side is, this side is, here, here, this side is. Thank you. That's all you had to do.
Well, Thomas, you should feel safe with me as your attorney. I actually do. Good. After going over some of the policy documents, I think everything is a go. I gotta say, you know, Brenda gave me a hard time signing these documents. <laughs> you know how women are. They'll get over it. I hope so. Just give it some time. She'll get over it. I hope so. I think you have the wrong Brenda. My husband should be at work by now. Okay. I'll come to the hospital and identify the body, but that's not Thomas. I was just there. Don't move my husband. I will come to the hospital and pick him up. I'll do his husband's care in our home. Documents, the policy documents. 
Oh, so therefore, funky. they're going to investigate this office. Yeah, that's his funky. If, if anything happened to me, if anything happened to me, our house is only for family, for family, nobody else. Only family, friend. Everything will be okay, my dear Thomas. So, you know this office is going to be under investigation. Why? I want you to refrain from going to your apartment. And Debbie, are going to, I need you first of all to refrain from going to your apartment. Okay, not going to the apartment, I understand. Yeah. But why are we wearing the same clothes? You and Debbie will wear the same clothes. So will I. I do not want this office in any kind of way linked to this investigation. I do not want this office linked in any kind of way. And you know Brenda's cheap, so she's gonna cremate Thomas. So I've already called the funeral home and made plans for the change of the body. It's not like you already on top of things. Okay, George, I don't understand why you informed Brenda about the amount she would receive from the policy. What was I supposed to say? I mean, all of this is just too much. 
I mean, I didn't expect for Thomas to die so soon. The plan was six months, not in six days. Well, it's getting done quicker. It's great. Look, Brenda is doing a cremation. A cremation. Nobody's gonna expect a body change. They don't know. So where is the body, George? In the office freezer. Hmm. Okay. So I guess yeah. we'll get the fingerprints and then we'll get rid of the body? Sounds like a plan. Okay, cool. <laughs> is holy. We're going to worship God in spirit and truth. It is written, be ye holy because I am holy. Check on her twice a week. Yeah, I'll do the same. Sounds good. Forever. It's gonna be okay. Oh, I love Thomas. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Hey, Brenda. We're here for you. Why, Miss Thomas? We are here for you. Money really worth it over some insurance? Oh gosh. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. I really, really should have never got involved with this. Wow, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get myself out of this? Hello. What do you mean you need me and my attorney to come down to the station? I just got through with my husband's funeral. Are you serious? I can't believe you had to go to the station the day of Thomas's funeral. Very disappointing. Hmm. Everything is gonna be okay, girl. Brenda, I'm here for you, as your attorney and as your friend. Thanks for the support. Yeah, I mean, I know you and I have history. By the way, do you still have feelings for George? How do you ask me this on this day? I mean, I just don't want you to have to go through this alone. Nothing ever happened between us. Aw, uh, girl, I guess you forgot about the kiss. Did you forget you told me about the kiss between you and George? That was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, well, just call me sometimes.
Brenda, why are you wearing the same outfit from the funeral? I just feel comfortable wearing this. All right, so how are you doing? You were supposed to have been checking on me weekly. I know, I know. It's hectic at the office. When will I receive my policy check? Look, everything's already arranged. It's already heading to your account. You'll receive your funds shortly. Where is the documents? <laughs> How much will I receive? Brenda, look, it's arriving in a certified mail and you will receive $200,000. I think turning the home into a vacation retreat was a great decision. Mm -hmm. You and Debbie have fun. Oh, we will. <laughs> Something about Brenda. Just gotta be careful when I'm young. Gotta be a broken pipe. Yeah, it gotta be a broken pipe. You hear noises and shit. Straighten up, George. You're tripping, man. Oh, this guy tripping. <laughs>
Calm down. I said no one should ever treat me. How is the house? Where are your clothes? The house is haunted. You can laugh if you want to, but Thomas Spirit is in that house. And when you find out what we did, he's gonna come for us. And he's gonna come for you too. This is all your idea. I don't want to be my idea. I want to be my idea. This is so nice. I love what Brenda's done with the place. Wow. Yes. This looks like a vacation retreat. Ooh. Oh. This is really oh my gosh, it's so nice. It is. Getting this one. Okay. <laughs> nice. And the view outside is gorgeous. Oh, oh. so impressed, Brenda. You did oh, such no, a good right? job. Yes, yes. I can get used to this, girl. I can get amazing. used to this. I can get used to this. It's truly amazing. Out of here. They did such oh, a okay. good I'm job. I'm going to stuff. I'm going to iron and stuff. Okay. Do you have a busy schedule for us this weekend? Oh my goodness, Mom. Be patient. I'll go over the schedule soon. All right. Okay, so ladies, this is the point in our uh, retreat that we're going to do some um, small meditation, uh, uh, thinking about like life-changing moments, and um, it'll help with like breathing and what's our next journey that we'd love to go on and and take in our lives. So if we can just close our eyes and. Uh, 
and breathe deeply. I hope you guys are having a good time. Yes, Robin, this is exactly what I needed. Yes, it's called me time. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna ask Brenda if we can do this, maybe like a, a quarterly retreat. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't think I can do this every quarter. In fact, your prices are kind of high, Robin. It's called budgeting, Debbie. Well, sometimes I experience slow months with my business, Mona. It's not my problem, Debbie. Uh, okay, ladies, uh, ladies, okay, just stop. Uh, we don't want any high blood pressure, Mona. Um, it is called budgeting, Debbie. Mm -hmm. uh, Mona, you want to help me with the dishes? Sure. Debbie, I'm sorry. Debbie. Debbie. Debbie, wake up. Now, I know you didn't eat that much. Debbie. Pipes or something? I hope that's all because I would not get any sleep with all that noise. enough to put you to sleep. Debbie.
beloved. I can't believe Debbie fell asleep. Girl, yeah, she enjoyed my cooking? <laughs> Ooh, girl, put her to sleep. <laughs> All right, girl. Good night. All right. See you in the morning. All right, good night.
did that chair come from? Let's go. Brenda? Brenda, we need your help. Robin, Robin, what? let's get out of here. This place is honey. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Brenda, Brenda, we, we need your help. Hello? Hello?
office connected in any kind of way when the investigation happens. No, nah, you're right. You're right. All right, so look, 15 years ago, Thomas Ball created a trust fund. So today, it's worth like $5 million. $5 million? Yeah. That's a lot of money. He don't know that she put me on in, in charge. She don't, he don't know that she added me to it. Okay. What about his wife? What about? I'm the sole beneficiary. I'm the sole beneficiary. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I get it. What is that? Did you hear that? Stop crying. No. Come on, let's go. I told you. I told you, woman. You know who responsible for me dying. I told you this was a family home. I told you. You would know who responsible for me dying. My body's in the freezer. I want a, a regular burial, proper burial, not a cremation, woman. You hear me? 